like I always say this all the time to my guys, like you cannot depend on your professor for every little thing. If you're going to be, if we're talking like high level competitors, you know, you have a responsibility for yourself as well. You have to drill. You have to find time to drill on your own. You have to find training partners that want to put that extra time in with you. You have, it's not just about coming to class, right? Coming to class is, it, you know, I, I'm teaching for everybody in the class. I guess I try to spend time with individual athletes. I try really hard, but it's, it's difficult. It, you, if you really want to jump that to the, that next level, you have to do your home, own homework. And even the, that means studying video at home, you know, studying competition videos, studying or, or, you know, buying one of these series that focuses on your particular guard of choice that you like or your particular guard pass that you like. And, and you, you delve deep into it, into understanding everything there is to it. And this is something that I do with my students. If they can't get the, the because I have, a re, I have like two terabytes of information, man, you know, of just, <laughs> yeah, right. just, just BJJ, right? So, and that's, I have like four, four terabytes of other stuff, combat sports in general. <clears throat> so when uh, a student wants to focus on a particular guard, whatever I have, whatever content I have, I will share with that student. And I'm like, here, here's the content, work, study, you know, if you have any questions, okay, we can have a sit down and then we can, you can ask me questions or certain things you're not certain of about, about, or you can show me the videos like professor, what exactly is he doing here? I'm not really sure. Okay. No problem. Here's, here's what it is. Let's talk about it. And I'll explain because uh, this is one of the, I think one of the gifts that I have, is that I watch video and I see everything, like every little detail of what the guy is doing. And sometimes I watch instructionals on mute. I don't want to hear what the guy is saying. I just watch oh, everything. Interesting. Interesting. Because I want to, I'm looking at hands and grips and positions and body position, shifting of angles, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I, I watch it, you know, when, when, well, while they're talking and then I, I'll go back sometimes and watch it without them on mute so i can just focus on the technical the technical part of the video there's and a lot of examples encourage... that take place with the body language right that's, yeah because you get possible. stuck you get stuck listening to what they're saying and keep in mind a lot of these these guys they're, they're amazing but maybe they're not that articulate so they're not pointing they're not pointing out a lot of the things that they're actually doing you know what i mean they're not pointing things yeah. out exactly like they okay guys you grab this grip you grab that grip but they're not mentioning maybe that there's an angle with their body there maybe they're not mentioning a leg placement and how their leg is placed you know what i mean so we'll oh, just shift your hips but they've already set that up with like a what grip that they have like yeah that, so, so like, exactly so they're not saying all, all the details so I, I like to watch it on mute and then just kind of watch pause look pause look around pause right so I, I, that's what i try to do but again i only focus on the on the three or four main core concepts of each, of each of each series, and that's what I teach in class. And then it's up to the, the to the individual student athlete to to specialize on what they want to specialize in. And then we can work on it together. I'm not saying that's 100% on you, but the onus is on you. And I'm just an assistant. I'm just here to help. I'm just a guide.